So, what is the Cronorium? We know that it's a magic book that contains information about the universe, and that its contents do change based on who reads it, but as far as I know, the earliest mention of the book is in a cipher on Gorod Krovi when Dr. Monty tells Maxis where to find it, who then tells Richtofen, who then tells Victus. But where did it come from? Since there are Apothecon characters on the cover, I think it's safe to assume that the Apothecons created it to show them how to defeat the Keepers. And because the Shadow Man is the big bad Apothecon, it makes the most sense that he would be the one to read it. So then, how does the Cronorium end up at that base in the comics, with Monty knowing its location? Well, chances are that the Keepers stole it from the Apothecons, since it's such a dangerous artifact, and later Monty would decide that Richtofen should have it to help him fight the Apothecons. But if the Shadow Man had read the Cronorium, he probably would have allowed something like that to happen. The Shadow Man's ultimate goal was to trap Richthofen in the Alcatraz Dimension and use his blood to, in his own words, open the way to the paradise below. To do this, he would have had to have the Warden create the Alcatraz Dimension so that Richthofen could use it for the Paradox, he had to make sure that it would eventually break the cycle, and he had to allow the cycle to continue on long enough to break, being defeated countless times before it would finally work. I just don't believe that the Shadow Man could have done all of this on his own, which is why I think he was following the Cronorium's instructions all along. Additionally, he has a few lines that seem to hint at this too, such as this one from Revelations. This has always only ended one way. I have foreseen it. And also here on the timeline, when he says, I'll be seeing you after the first soul was delivered to the house. Sure, these could be interpreted as typical bad guy arrogance, but these lines, along with his actions, make it seem much more likely that he had a plan the whole time, just like Richtofen. However, neither the Shadow Man nor Richtofen got what they really wanted from the Cronorium. The Apothecons were never freed from the Dark Aether, and Richtofen didn't get to be the savior of the universe. So why did this happen? Why would the Cronorium help both sides, only for both to fail anyway? Well, we know that the book can change, and will show different things to different people. Which is that the, the Cronorium is also dependent upon the reader of it. But how does it decide what to show? It obviously didn't tell Richtofen about the Shadow Man's influence in the cycle, and it didn't tell the Shadow Man about the Dark Mechanism, or that the mobsters would help Primus escape. These are very important details to both of their plans, and yet it was all withheld. Perhaps the Cronorium was never helping them in the first place. Maybe it doesn't serve its reader, it instead manipulates them into serving itself. Everything that happened put it into the hands of Nikolai, who was the one that was willing and able to banish everything into the Dark Aether. So maybe Nikolai's endgame and the Cronorium's were the same, to have just two dimensions, one light and one dark. You'd think that, having been created by the Apothecons, its goals would align with theirs, but the Apothecons are users of the Dark Aether's power, which they most likely used to create the Cronorium. And if it was forged with Dark Aether energy, that would make it a Dark Aether entity, not an Apothecon one, which would explain why it betrayed them. After the events of Togdor Toten, the pages of the Cronorium are seen being erased, and according to the Call of Duty wiki, it remains intact within the Dark Aether during the events of Black Ops Cold War, likely content with how things turned out. But what about the people in the new, singular timeline creating portals between the two realms? Project End Station, Omega, Requiem, the Forsaken. Surely the Cronorium wouldn't be happy about that. And maybe it will play a role in the new Dark Aether saga, if somebody can find it.